Hello, everyone. I'm Debbie Indahar Giordano of Master Brokers. Welcome to our weekly update and welcome to spring. We've got some great weather out there. Hope you're enjoying some good walks as you get out of your shelter in place. Um, been busy. Um, let me go through a few things that have been concerned with buyers. Um, they want to know three key things are important when you're purchasing during a pandemic. Um, one, uh, how do you negotiate the offer price right now. Empathy and awareness are important. While sellers might be open to lower offers during this time, most people won't want to deal with somebody that would uh, lowball or take advantage of them. So I'm not seeing the prices come down much, uh, a little bit, but there's not a considerable amount. Uh, secondly, understand that a longer closing period is likely. From now on, you're going to get uh, for the offers accepted will be a little bit longer than 30 days, which has been a typical escrow. So uh, also waiting for loan rates to drop may backfire on you if you're a buyer and waiting for that to happen. That certainly isn't going to happen during this uh, process. And let's talk about uh, interest rates. Today, it's um, the jumbo is at 3.25% and the conforming loan, which is the Smaller loan limit is at 3.75%. So still excellent, excellent rates for purchasing. Um, then as from the seller's side, uh, here's some great advice that came out of the newspaper last weekend about how agents offer advice to home sellers on how to proceed. Um, usually big improvements don't pay off. And when I talk to sellers, we talk about any remodeling that needs to happen. And those usually are not, um, they don't come back to you in terms of long-term gains. Uh, also, circumstances alter timing decisions. If the seller is home with kids and there's contractors and all that, the timing has to be perfect. So um, you want to be careful of that. And significant flaws require disclosure. For a seller who has neglected maintenance and doesn't have the funds or motivations to fix flaws, selling uh, as is, is probably not a good strategy, but the disclosures will um, reveal those things that have to happen. Okay, so um, the, the market is good. Uh, just sold last week, uh, 3126 Drywood Lane in San Jose. Um, it's in the Berryessa area and the list price was 1149 and the seller and buyer settled in at 1125 So that was, that was good. Um, nice property, very much remodeled, three bedroom, two bath. You can check my uh, website, debbiegiordano.com and see the photos online. And we still have 428 Bixby Drive for sale. That's uh, the same price as um, the one on Drywood. It's $1,149,000. Uh, it is four bedrooms, two baths with a large family room, uh, about 1,500 square feet uh, in Milpitas. So uh, close to all the transit centers and, and uh, BART, which will be coming opening here this summer, and uh, it's it's a good little neighborhood, so I want to check that one out. That's being shown. I'm surprised it hasn't sold yet, but um, I'm, sh I'm certain that'll happen pretty soon. And then 212 Corning Avenue is still for sale. It's a darling little three-bedroom, one bath. It's uh, The seller had dropped the price last week, uh, 30 grand, so it's at 898-888. Uh, so if you're looking for a home, a single family detached home, no HOA dues under 900,000, that's a great little property um, to see. So um, if you're interested in getting your home ready, please give me a call, 408-945-8988. Uh, the market is moving. Um, if you need to move, sell, certainly do it. Let's get going. So I'll be happy to talk to you. You can also reach me by email, Giordano DJ at AOL. Dot com, and I will see you next week again. Thank you for watching. Bye.